Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have decided to do a little mini review video. I recently picked up the new Urban Decay um, Alice palette, the palette based on the movie Alice Through the Looking Glass and if you don't already know this is how the palette right here looks like. The reason why I wanted to do a quick review is because it is such a new product and I kind of wanted to give my first impressions of the palette and let you guys know if it's worth buying. <laughs> but before we get into all of this mumbo jumbo, I just wanted to go ahead and take the time to personally thank all of my subscribers here. Without you, I couldn't have reached my 50 subscriber milestone. And I know to a lot of people that may seem like just a little bit, like a small amount, but it really does mean a lot to me. It means that at least you guys want to sit here and see what I have to offer and I just really, really appreciate it. So make sure you guys stick here to the end of my video so you guys can kind of see what's in my giveaway and also so you guys can learn how to enter my giveaway. Okay, so back to the Alice palette. When you get the palette, it does come in a separate box other, other than this, but this is pretty bulky packaging. It would have been really, really cool if um, you were able to take out your um, palette portion of it and still have it in like an enclosed case. That would have been really awesome. So just in case if you wanted to take it traveling, you can because this is pretty bulky and pretty heavy, I wouldn't necessarily recommend you taking this on travel. So let me go ahead and show you the colors. So these are the colors in the Alice palette. What's really, really great about this particular palette is that you do have plenty of shimmer colors, but you also have matte colors as well. And when I'm looking for a palette, I'm looking to make sure that you have a variety of eyeshadows, different textures, because not everybody is going to want shimmer eyeshadow, so getting an eyeshadow palette that's just shimmers just doesn't doesn't work for me. Um, but these colors are really, really workable. You do have a few transition colors and blending colors, and then you also have your extreme colors. I am wearing the eyeshadows right here on my face right now. I kept it more natural. I didn't really want to go overboard with uh, trying out the crazy colors just yet because I just want to play with it a little bit more and then maybe I can film a video for you guys if you guys want to see me uh, using a look based on these shadows. I just, overall, honestly, I just fell in love with the colors and I just wanted to show everybody. So I'll go ahead and do a quick swatch swatch on my hand of each. So the first color up top, that is going to be Looking Glass. The second peachy color, I do have this as part of my transition colors. This is called Reflection. This nice brown, warm, earthy brown color, that is called Dormouse. And then this bottom color right here, this lovely blue color, is actually called Metamorphosis. They're really soft. They're not extremely soft that when you put your makeup brush into the palette, it's gonna crumble and break like some of my Lorac um, eyeshadows are, so that's really, really good. Like I did mention, I do have um, Dormouse in my crease. I also have Reflection in my crease as well. The next row that I have, this lovely green color right here, is called Hatter. This deep, purple color is called Gone Mad. This really bright orange metallic -y color, you can't really see it from the distance, but it's very metallic when you look close up at it, is called Paradox. And this fuchsia color down at the bottom is called Cake. I definitely want to try a look using, look using Cake, but I'm so nervous with using bright, bright colors like that, that I just I don't know. I just have to step out of my comfort zone just a little bit. Alright guys, I'm not good at doing swatches, but whatever. Let's keep going with it. So the next row that I swatch is going to be the third row with the color Lily in it and going down to chest. Okay, so this first color right here, turn my hand like that because 
apparently I don't know how to swatch things on my hands. <laughs> this first color right here is called Lily. When I swatched this on my hand, I was impressed because it's actually a very, very pretty dual chrome color. In the pan, it actually looks like it's an off-white color, but when you swatch the color, it is like a dual chrome. Look at that. It has pink reflex to it and I think that is just so unique it would be beautiful I'm very curious to see how that color would be if you apply, apply some fix plus to it so after Lily I have this color Duchess now I do have a Duchess here on the inner portion of my eyes now looking at it in the pan it does look a little bit darker so I was expecting it to come off a little bit darker I wanted to do my whole lid color with that, but since I applied it on my lid and it didn't really come off dark, I just decided to keep it on the inner corner of my eyelids. It's a very, very beautiful color. I think with any of these shimmer colors, you can intensify it using Fix Plus and it'll just be magnificent. But also looking at it, it looks a lot like when they're swatched, like a lot like the foil eyeshadows up close. But then again, you know, I don't own any foiled eyeshadows, so I definitely don't feel right comparing it but just throwing out my two cents on that then the second to the last color that I have right here is going to be called kingdom and I just love that color it's a nice it's not like a dusty color it has some hints of pinks to it it's not completely brown but it's more on the cooler neutral side of the palette and then of course the last color that I did swatch right here is called chessboard and I do have that on the outer portions of my crease just to deepen my eyes a little bit because I do have hooded eyes so I like to make the illusion that my hood is pushed back so doing some more swatches of these colors I do realize that some of the shimmers are a little bit rough and then some of them are a little bit more smoother a little bit more finely milled but look at these colors right here. So this is from the next row over. The first color right here, this is called Head Heads Roll Roll. I just think that is a lovely turquoise color. Lovely. I wish I would have swatched these, these colors earlier and kind of stepped out of my comfort zone and did a little bit more of a dramatic look with these colors because they are just so beautiful, so pigmented. The next color down from Heads Roll Roll is called Band Bander Snatch. Bander Snatch. And this this nice royal blue color, more like a navy blue, versus this right here is going to be more if of a cotton. I don't know how to pronounce I don't know what color. It's more like this is more like a sky. This is more like a sky, a deeper sky blue, and then this is going to be more like a blue navy color, not so dark, but definitely a navy color. And then this next color right here is actually called, got a weird clue, can't pronounce half these words, Salazengrum. Salazengrum. Am I pronouncing it right? Can you guys let me know if I'm pronouncing these names right? Because they sound all kinds of off to me. <laughs> and then this last color that I have right here on my bottom is called Royal Flush. Now for my brow bone highlight, I did use a mixture of Royal Flush and of Lily to create like a custom color. So Royal Flush is like a dual chrome as well, but this one has a white reflex. In the pan itself, it looks more like a peachy color, but it does have a like a white reflex to it. And then for the final roll in the palette, these darker colors right here. Urban Decay was not playing when they added some dual chrome eyeshadows because I swear when I was watching it, it has like this really pretty metallic almost like a purple sheen to it it's really really beautiful so this first color right here is called time this next color right here which i found was a little bit hard swatching so i'm not exactly sure how it's going to be when you apply it onto your eyes is called dream on it's more like a sheer color i mean it does have some pigment behind it but it's more like a glittery kind of thing. a copper not copper 
Yeah, it looks kind of, it looks like more like a vintage copper color, a vintage color. And that color is actually called chronosphere, chronosphere, chronosphere. It's actually called chronosphere. And then this very, very last color is called mirror, which I'm actually a little bit surprised. It looks a lot more purple on my skin tone. But actually in the pan, it's act it actually looks a very, very gray. So I'm really, really surprised. A lot of these colors aren't what they seem. And I am, I'm impressed by that, you know? I mean, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up my first impressions, thoughts on the Alice palette along with the bazillion swatches that I have here on my arm. So now I actually want to get into the final portion of today's video and that is officially announcing my giveaway. All right, let's go ahead and let's start with me introducing to you the uh, makeup portion of this giveaway. You are going to get the Tartlet in Bloom palette. You will also get the Urban Decay Afterglow, one of their newer highlighters in the color Sin. Because I didn't want it to all be high-end, I did throw in some drugstore items as well. One of the drugstore makeup items that I did decide to buy was this Makeup Revolution Matte Blush, and I do have it on my cheeks today. And this is in the color Beloved. And then I decided to get this very, very beautiful kit right here. This is the Buxom Pout of Paradise. And they're just little mini travel size uh, lip glosses for you guys. Now moving on to the face. The face. I wanted to get face uh, face products like not necessarily cleansers more like face masks because lately that's what I've been loving been loving face mask I've been loving the peel off mask all of that fun stuff so I decided to pick up a couple of things for you one of the things that I picked up was this um, Friedman feeling beautiful pomegranate revealing peel off mask because I have used it myself and I just I'm in love with the scent I actually have a few of them back there on my shirt. The next things that I got were face masks, and these are all Tony Molly face masks. So right here, this little cute, pa how cute is this packaging? Oh my goodness. So this is like an eye patch, like an under eye patch, and what this patch is going to do, it's gonna brighten, um, it's gonna brighten or your under eye area and hydrate. <laughs> the next mask that I have is a paper, a rice paper mask so to speak, and this is in the moisturizing one. So just in case if you did get this, if your skin is a little bit on the drier side, definitely putting as much moisture into your skin is going to help you. The final face mask that I got was the Tony Molly um, pore, pore, pore strip, pore strip. So what's really cool about this is that it has three steps. So, the instructions back here on the top are in Korean, but down at the bottom, they do have it in English. So if you have any questions, you can kind of read down at the bottom. I did purchase one for myself, so I'm excited to use it because I've seen a video on YouTube about this. And I was like, okay, okay, I have. Those are the items that I purchased as far as face care and makeup go. So I hope that you guys like it. But I did want to throw in two additional items for you guys. One item that I wanted to give to you is this very, very cute bath bomb. When I was walking through Ulta and I saw this right next to the Soap and Glory section, I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. I have to get it for them. And guys, it smells amazing. Amazing. I can't even speak. It smells like Sherbert. The final item that I got was the Soap and Glory Orgasm um, hand cream. I did purchase one for myself and I love the hand cream. It's more, it's not like a hand cream, it's a body butter, but it, it melts into your skin. It doesn't take that long for your skin to absorb it. And when it does, your skin just feels amazing. So I wanted you guys to try it out. And if you guys really liked it, you can go pick it up at Ulta. You can pick up a bigger size at Ulta. 
All right, now to let you guys know how you can enter into my giveaway. The long awaited time. Thank you so much for sticking to the end to watching uh, the end of this video. Okay, so in order to be entered in my giveaway, you must be subscribed to my channel and I must be able to verify that you're subscribed to my channel. You also have to go and click that Google form link and fill out all that information just so I can keep track of everything and so that way your information is not blasted on the internet and it's still kept private. It is one entry per person. However, if you do end up doing some of my other entry ways, then you can have up to two different entry times. So it can boost up your entries. So the first way that you can get a bonus entry will be if you subscribe or if you follow my Instagram page, my Instagram page and repost my giveaway that will give you one entry. The other way would be to subscribe, uh, follow my Facebook page and like my Facebook page and like the comment or share the comment for my giveaway. Um, so yeah, so if you choose to do one, you can do one, but you do have an option to do both and potentially have your name in the hat for three times. For three times. <laughs> So that should be fun. At the end of the giveaway, I would put everybody's name into a hat or into an app and draw a random number and let you guys know who's won my giveaway. But yeah, that's the way to enter. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that. Thank you so much once again for joining me on this journey. If you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and you're here for my next giveaway and I will see everybody in my next video. Bye.